Genetically Modified Foods by Gabriella Gwen. Hey, what's happening here? Well, apparently there's this new type of strawberry, the blue strawberry. Other fruits and animals say that it is genetically modified. Hold on a second. You're saying that a strawberry is blue? Yes, of course it's blue. It's genetically modified by Professor Blizzard. How did the professor do that? That's so amazing. I know, right? Well, genetically modified foods are foods that use the combinations of DNA so that it can be modified, so that it has another ability that it does not have yet. Basically, what the professor did was to get the DNA from an arctic flounder fish and transfer it to the strawberry. Wait, so an arctic flounder fish donated his DNA? Which DNA? Arctic flounder fish donated his DNA that produces an antifreeze that allows him to protect himself in freezing waters. So the strawberry can withstand freezing temperatures now? It can be grown in the Arctic or in winter? Exactly! Isn't that great? But blue strawberry still needs to be approved by the FDA. The FDA is short for U.S. Food and Drug Administration. They approve foods and animals and medicines that can go up to the market for sale. Why is not blue strawberry approved then? Well, there are some ethical groups that does not agree with this idea. What is wrong with blue strawberry? Some people think that because blue strawberry is a genetically modified food, it is unhealthy because they say it alters their bodies and how their body processes it. They think it is much better to eat fruits like me, organic fruits. They call blue strawberry fishberry and say Mother Nature would have evolved strawberries to be blue if she wants to. But does blue strawberry actually affect the health of the humans that eat her? Actually, no! Professors like Professor Blizzard have been testing blue strawberry and apparently blue strawberry does not have any health risk to human in her. Is it actually only because of the ethics that blue strawberry has not been approved? Well, the main reason is actually because of the ethics, but blue strawberry can actually also affect humans positively. The blue strawberry can help improve the economy of humans. Strawberries cannot be grown in winter, unlike me. This will mean that companies that farm and produce strawberries can actually earn more money in winter because blue strawberry can withstand temperatures below zero. So you mean humans can be richer because of blue strawberry? Blue strawberry can improve the economy. Yes, exactly. Blue strawberry can also produce more food in winter so people will not starve. Is there any other genetically modified foods? Are there any that are approved to be sold in the market? Actually, yes. Other genetically modified foods include the rice that contain higher amounts of vitamin A, soybeans that are resistant to herbicides, corn that are resistant to certain pesticides, and cotton that are resistant to certain pesticides. Now, about 75% of all processed foods in the United States contain a genetically modified ingredient. I'm curious. What is the first genetically modified food to be approved by the FDA? Well, the first food was a flavor saver tomato. The flavor saver tomato? Yes, the flavor saver tomato. This tomato is different. It has the ability to delay the softening of itself, so it can last longer. What the professors did was to add an insertion of an additional copy of the polygalactronase, also called the PG gene. This PG gene is a reverse copy of part of the native tomato PG gene, meaning it is the opposite of what the original PG genes do, which is ripening the fruit. Wow, genetically modified fruits are awesome. I think that the people that disagree with genetically modified foods are not very smart. There are no threats to genetically modified foods. Panna, I, I really have to go now. I have class. Okay, bye and thanks for the information. You're welcome. Created using Powtoon.